Hey, what's going on YouTube? Todd with xking.com hit you with another video. And today we're talking about the Acorns app. And this video is titled, you know, what is our the best tips and tricks with Acorns? How can you maximize Acorns if you're first you just starting out or you use Acorns, you just got started, you want the, the best tips. So today, um, I'm getting my five best tips. If you're just starting, just get started, you worry about starting. And um, also go through my account as well to show you the things that I have. So I have acorns now for about, I'll say seven to eight weeks. Um, so I have 200, well, I'll go back here to um, totally, I totally invested $150. Uh, right now I have $204 in the account total. And let's go through my market. I'm plus three dollars and thirteen cents. Um, so I'm plus money right now on my stocks. Um, here's my roundups. I have 144 total roundups. Um, total invested was a hundred dollars and seventy-three cents of roundups. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I'll show you my. This is my account. I do have Acorns. This is my personal account, and I also have the. Um, acorns later i have the roth ra as well so so tip number one if you don't have acorns use my affiliate link to get acorns and the reason i say that you know not to, to sell you something but if you go to acorns.com and set up an account you know you set up the account and you ask all, all your information you you don't get anything from that all you use an account of Acorns. If you use my affiliate link below the video, not only I'll get five dollars, but you'll get five bucks. So you get free money, and that five dollars can be invested for you automatically. So that's a tip number one. Use don't have to be my affiliate link, but use someone's affiliate link to get that free five dollars. There's no reason to sign up for something. Why sign up for nothing? Why well, gotta sign up the same way and still get five dollars? So. That'll be my first tip. Use my affiliate link. The second tip, tip, tip. The second tip is that you don't need to invest money into Acorns. Okay, you don't have to put in thirty, forty, hundred, two hundred dollars if you don't want to. Then you can, but you don't have to. Okay. So I can withdraw. This is my portfolio. I have automatic round. I have nothing reoccurring. Um, one time, I can put a one-time payment in if I choose to. Um, and I'm going to show you something here, how much I put in cash. Um, I, I bet I, I put in, I believe, uh, I believe $50 cash. I can't really tell. I'm trying to find how you can tell how much money you invested, your own money. Um, so roundups here, his roundups one time. So I, so right now I invested on 25 bucks. So far, last 30 days, so I think it's $50 altogether. I put in my own money, okay? Um, you don't have to put in money in here, okay? You don't have to do that. You don't have to put in money. You just use the roundups, okay? You just use the roundups. Where's the roundups? You can just use the roundups, and it will invest for you. And how roundups works is if you buy something for $1.50, Acorns is going to round that up to the nearest dollar which is two dollars and is take 50 cents from your account and put in the acorns that's a roundup so tip number two is you have to put in money now you can put in money but i found out that uh there's one more tip to this if you pay your bills online which most people do if you pay your bills online with the same debit card that attached that same checking account there will acorns will Acorns will also round that purchase up as well. So if you pay, say your light bill is one hundred and thirty-five dollars, and you send them one forty, Acorns gonna round that up as well, actual dollars. So you really sent one forty-one. So not only when you swipe your gas, you get round up. You swipe your debit card on buying food and clothes. When you pay your bills with that same uh, card or whatever card you link to. Those dual bills also gets rounded up. So 
you can use that as well to save money. So you buy your gas every week, you buy groceries every week, you buy clothes, you buy other things, you pay your bills weekly or monthly, you still get roundups every week without without even looking at it. So that's tip number two. You have to put money into it because they will round up all your purchases. When you pay your bills, your car insurance, your cell phone bill, you'll round them up as well. That's tip number two. Tip number three is use the found money. As my found money, I have made three, $5.38 for found money, okay? And I'm gonna tell you some other tips too. There's a lot of different places you could buy stuff, Home Depot, uh, Advance, a lot of good stuff. So I'm gonna tell you my top two. And these are all the brands they have here. They could shop online, on store. Then they did have Exxon Mobile in here as well. So Exxon Mobile, when you use your debit card at Exxon Mobile, you get 25 cents when you spend $15 in gasoline. So that's a that's just a free quarter. Not a lot of money, but it's a free quarter. If you scroll down here, I use um let's see. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff here. Um if you if you use eBay, you could get on eBay. Um Groupon. Groupon is a big one because Groupon it's a free app that gets you discounts at restaurants and stores and products. There are little mini Amazon, I think, because they have a lot of products on there for cheap. So if you if you use Groupons already, there's no reason why you shouldn't use um, Acorn with it. All you have to do is hit top, you tap shop now, and you'll be into Groupons. Okay? So I use Groupons and I use Walgreens, okay? Now, where's Walgreens? I can find Walgreens in here. I use those two mainly. I'm gonna tell you why you Walgreens in a minute. But well, there's Nike in here, Old Navy. You buy stuff online as well. Um, Sam's Club. I, I I like Sam's Club as well. But um, I can't find Walgreens in here. But Walgreens is in here as well. I might have passed it. Here go Walgreens. Walgreens. Now. The thing about Walgreens, now Walgreens is pretty much everywhere. In my area, is everywhere. I don't know how your area is, but my area, they're everywhere. Okay, so Walgreens is a pharmacy slash little mini grocery store. Now, I don't go to Walgreens often, but what you could do is use Walgreens Pharmacy. You could download the Walgreens app to your phone and use it at the pharmacy. There are photos section. So you take photos of your phone, your family, and you want to print those off instead of going to Walmart. Go to Walgreens. You Walgreens, you could download the app, upload your pictures to the app. You can pick what size you want. They give you the price. And then um, I believe you can pay for it on the app as well. You can pay for it on the app and they'll give you 2% invested on your investment. I also have Walmart here as well, buying stuff online. So tip number three is use the found money. Okay, use it, go through, see what you use, what you don't use, and use it. Tip number four is get the um, the, the Roth RA, okay? Uh, here's my portfolio here of the Roth RA. If you don't have a Roth RA, an RA stands for an individual retirement account. And what is going to happen is you put money in and Acorn is going to invest in stocks and bonds for you based on your portfolio you chose. So I'm already plus 36 cents in my portfolio i put in fifty dollars i know you can't you can't use roundups in this you have to actually put in cash and the one downfall it takes five it takes four to five days for that money to go through but you know i can't touch this money until you're 59 and a half i believe but you can take the money out but you can't take out um the, the dividends you, you've made. So that would be tip number four. Get to the Roth IRA through Acorns. If you don't have one, if you don't um, if you don't want to go to a bank and sit down with a banker, you could do this. It took literally three minutes. They'll ask you three questions, and then they'll set you up for you. So get you a Roth IRA through Acorns and start putting that money. Get you a, a beneficiary for your kids or loved ones as well. Number four five is going to be don't pull your money out okay don't pull your money out okay so i had 204 dollars total invested i threw in you know the core is 153 dollars don't take the money out 
Okay, don't take the money out. Don't don't take it out. Okay. Now my total account is value at two hundred four because of the of the uh, RA. But really, I don't have one hundred fifty three dollars in this account. Do not pull your money out. Okay. And now treat this as a high yield savings account. Treat this as another way to save money on the side. Okay. You have your emergency fund. You have your you have the savings account. This Acorns account should be treated as a savings account. Now you throw money in and you take money out. You can withdraw all your money if you choose to, but I, I advise don't do it. I advise keep the money in there, keep the roundups. I have the one time roundup. I'm not using you know, 10 roundups to save that. I will. I'm going to do fast. I'm going to show you. I'm not using the, uh, the roundups where you can, um, you know, do times 10 or times 30, whatever. I'm not doing that. Um, here's the roundup settings here. Mine's on one. Now you could put on 10 or you could put on whatever a multiplier if you want to. You could put it times two, times three, times 10. Mine's just times one. Um, I like the one and that's that's suitable for me. Um, just don't put the money out. Just keep building this money because this, I had this account for seven weeks now. And I want to build up $150. I mean, that's $150. I didn't put any account. It just over roundups. So that's tip number five. Don't pull your money out. Just keep it in there. Treat it as a high yield savings account. Treat it like a savings account. Treat it where it's just, I'm not touching this money. I'm going to build it up. Use the potential here. Like keep this money in here. Hypothetically, projections. At age 72, I have $62,000 with not a lot of money. Um, you know, I'm, you know, so it tells you how much money you have in your account on compound interest, okay? So, or not compound, just dividends, and, and we get dividends, then reinvest that dividends for you. So, yeah, those are my five tips um, to use the Acorns. I would definitely use my affiliate link to get the free five bucks. I would definitely um, use the found money. That's important. What's up with coupons? I would don't pull the money out. Um, just keep the money into your account. Just keep it as a high yield savings account. Um, get, get your Roth IRA. It's, it's, a, it's two dollars a month for Acorns. If you get the Roth IRA, it's two dollars a month. If not, it's one dollar a month. And honestly, one dollar a month. That's two. That's that's two purchases I buy. If I buy gas or buy dinner. I'm pretty sure I'm rounding up 45 cents and then rounding up 60 cents on two things I buy through the whole week. And that's a dollar. And I think this, this is worth a dollar for what it can do for you. Not only invest your money for you, but to make money for you. So let's decline that. So, yeah, um, that's what I would do uh, with this. I would definitely invest in that. And uh, those are my five tips to the best tips and tricks for acorns. Um, this is my account. This is toffedaskin.com. And again, I get $5 and you'll get $5. So might as well just don't sign up for nothing. At least get five bucks. Okay. Let's get $5. Um, I love the app. And, you know, I guess tip number six is when you first get started, you, you look at it every day, every other hour. But over time, I slowly just, I glance at it maybe once, twice a day. I don't really glance at that no more because, you know, it, it's really slow. Um, I'm on the aggressive portfolio. Um, I can pull that up for you. I'm on the aggre mildly aggressive portfolio. So I'm investing large stuff as well. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so um, yeah, you could do the you could do the aggressive if you want to, but it's bigger risk. I'm like you know a little bit above the medium. Okay, so that's that's the end of my video. Any questions, comments, concerns about Acorns, let me know. Um, again, all the links below the video as well. And I am Ty from Thanks for watching.